ask you specifically about um, because you were playing uh, for those that are unfamiliar Alex keeping keeps time with the with the bass drum and I wanted to know how quickly you guys synced up because um, the clave I mean if you could, could you talk about the story of the clave as it relates to G soul and then ultimately how that that Latin or that that Afro-Cuban rhythm how you guys were able to, to lock in together how quickly that took yeah um, <clears throat> for me uh, and I guess to explain what clave means is, is sort of um, it it kind of interprets a 4-4 time with a with a 3 feel exactly um, and and I and I it was hard for me to uh, to integrate with a lot of uh, regular rock drummers who would play more of a straight 4-4. Uh, and for a long time, I thought it was something wrong with me. Uh, there was something, you know, I wasn't doing the rhythm right or something like that. And over time, I started to understand that I was playing to this, this clave. Um, and once I understood that, I was kind of able to sort of ride it. And Miguel, with his background of of uh, as a conguero, uh, with Cuban music, but also his his father was Brazilian, so he had a lot of that uh, influence. He had a similar uh, feel for the clave, and so we just we just locked up immediately, uh, you know, in the most remarkable way, um, you know, with, without any trouble. Unlike other you know earlier experiences we'd had with uh, you know, regular rock drummers. Yeah, no, because you've, you've really, um, can you just talk about your concept of rhythm in G-Soul? Because, um, you know, you guys have had, you know, lots of different, you know, wind instruments and singers. We came in, there's been, I don't want to say a resistance, but there's been no trap set. And quite honestly, my whole show has become about rhythm. I've become obsessed with, like what you just said is like, I can't, quantized rhythm it, you know four four time straight time it doesn't really get me off it has to be it doesn't have to be the clave but you have to be doing stuff that's syncopated with the bass drum playing accent playing rebound um explain the philosophy by by uh behind not having a trap drummer in g-soul i mean initially it wasn't a philosophy when i when i was playing guitar in, in europe on like the beaches in south of france um I would often like hit the, like a lot of the time I would hit the drum or the guitar like a drum to give a bass hit while I was plucking. Um, Absolutely. So I would kind of provide, provide a rhythm like that. And, and whenever I tried to work with a drummer, there was always sort of a problem. I think it was often rooted in this, this uh, disconnect on the clave. Uh, but at the time I wasn't really sure what it, what it was. And I kind of sort of aspired to play the guitar um, like the Gypsy Kings with a lot of sort of force and rhythm. And so I just kind of, you know, at the end, what, I, what it ends up is I'm playing the trap set through the guitar and the kick drum. I'm giving the bass beat with the kick drum, and then my guitar brush strokes are like a hi-hat uh, and a rim shot. Wow. Um, I love that. I mean, I, I mean sonically, um, in a live setting, does it, are you able to get, are you able to generate a lot of sonic, you know, vibration and sound. Just, I mean, because you're sort I mean, of, I mean, it's it sort of. It works best yeah. in an intimate environment. The recording environment right. is like the best, like, or just a, a room with nice acoustics. Uh, so you can really appreciate the brush strokes of the guitar. Um, when we get into loud environments, it starts to eat away at, 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 the, at the sound. But, um, but yeah, basically the, the trap set then gets reinterpreted through the rhythm guitar and the kick drum. Um, you know, and and, a, and you create a new sound. You know, <laughs> and partly by by accident, of course. You know. <laughs> oh, that's those are the those are the, the, the those those accidents are the best discoveries. You know, I mean, that's what leads yeah. to uh, the gateway to new vocabulary. <laughs> 